during the um, um, during the lockdown mm-hmm. is that because people couldn't go out, a lot of townships and a lot of township businesses utilized platforms like WhatsApp. Yes, in the absence of I mean, in the absence of 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 uh, mobile payments or mm-hmm. payment, which is a big part of um, of e-commerce, mm-hmm. you know. In the absence of that, people have been using um, social media as well as WhatsApp mm-hmm. in the main to support local and township businesses. In fact, so much so that um, I think it's in Gatlehong and in Soweto as well, there are businesses that actually do deliveries on bicycles, mm. right? yeah. which is, which is, I think, a first, the first part of, um, I suppose, building up the demand and mm-hmm. the opportunity for e-commerce in townships yeah. because and this is not a township thing where pe- people are, are generally adverse to sharing um, our banking details well mm. on any side be it, yeah. be it macro or take a lot yeah. um so if you are Busiso in timbisa it's even harder you know because because you don't have the you don't have the 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 the, the perceived credibility mm. of the macro or a take a lot mm. so you have to build that up first it's a mm. trust thing yeah. Is, yeah is the first one um but africa is making strides in general and we could learn from you know the rest of the african continent like places like kenya where there's mbesa and yes. mbesa does a lot to support the informal economy mm. because 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 a lot of township businesses yeah. play in that space I, right? I, I think i think